Hi there. My name is Sonia. Welcome to MCSI. In this video, we will discuss different techniques used for performing risk analysis. In the previous video, we talked about quantitative and qualitative risk analysis methodologies. Both approaches have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. There are different frameworks and techniques that utilize these approaches for analyzing risk. Let's review the techniques that are used to perform quantitative risk analysis. Monte Carlo simulation is a risk management technique that is used to conduct quantitative risk analysis. It is a mathematical technique that is used to estimate the possible outcomes of uncertain events and their probabilities. A Monte Carlo simulation takes the variable that has uncertainty and assigns it a random value. The model is then run and a result is provided. This process is repeated over and over while assigning many different values to the variable in question. Once the simulation is complete, the results are averaged to estimate the probability. For example, you want to estimate the probability of a coin toss landing heads 10 times in a row. Using Monte Carlo simulation, you can simulate 10 coin tosses to see whether you get 10 heads in a row. You may want to repeat the simulation, say, 1 million times and calculate the probability. This technique is widely used to assess impact of risk in many real-life scenarios, such as stock prices, financial investments, project management, and much more. Factor Analysis of Information Risk, or the FAIR Risk Assessment Framework, also utilizes quantitative risk analysis methodology. This framework assigns numerical values such as percentages or dollar amounts to all elements of risk. It then helps us to estimate probable frequency of different threats and loss magnitude if the risk materializes. The main stages involved in FAIR risk assessment include identify scenario components, evaluate loss event frequency, evaluate probable loss magnitude, and derive and articulate risk. A decision tree is a decision support tool that visually displays decisions and their potential outcomes, consequences, and cost. This technique helps in evaluation of different business decisions to select the best courses of action. The decision tree analysis includes the following steps. Prepare the decision tree by listing out all the decisions. Assign the probability of occurrence of each risk. Assign the impact of risk as monetary value. Calculate the expected monetary value or EMV for each decision path by multiplying the probability with impact. Let's review different techniques for performing qualitative risk analysis. Conducting interviews with organization staff, project participants, stakeholders, and experts also helps to analyze risks. The interviewees are asked a set of prepared questions in order to assign ratings to risk likelihood and impact. Brainstorming involves a group of people working together to identify risks, their probability, impact, as well as options for risk treatment. Brainstorming is beneficial as it encourages free-flowing conversation amongst a group of knowledgeable people. In Delphi Technique, a team of experts is consulted anonymously. A list of required information is sent to experts, responses are compiled, and results are sent back to them for further review until a consensus is reached. This method is used to obtain an agreement on cost, loss values, and probabilities of occurrence without individuals having to agree verbally. Checklists can also be used to identify, assess, and manage risks. The checklist is developed by listing items or issues that are to be analyzed. This technique helps in determining the likelihood of different threats, the potential consequences and mitigating measures. I now hope that you have a good understanding of these techniques. In the next video, we will talk about establishing risk assessment criteria and how to use it to evaluate risk. Stay tuned. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website.
Happy learning and see you soon.